Hi, and welcome to the support series videos from Vectra. In this series, engineers will go through some of the common requests we see from customers and how to resolve them. Please be sure to subscribe and check back for new videos in the series. Hello, I am Nikhil Singh from support team at Vectra. In this video, we will pair a physical sensor to a brain appliance. The link for the knowledge base article on the topic is listed in the description section of the video. The subtopic we will cover here are prerequisites, steps, and verification. For demo, I am using VHE as a brain with management IP 192.168.53.146. The sensor is S11 with IP 192.168.55.18. Prerequisites are, first, the brain should be able to reach update2.vectranetworks.com over port 443. Second, the sensor must be able to reach the brain on port 22 and 443. Steps of pairing are great brain IP and registration token. To get the brain IP, go to brain web UI, data source, networks, sensors. Then scroll to the sensor configuration sensor pairing and registration section. Get the IP from pair using Cognito Brain Management IP address. Go to new registration token to click on generate new registration token. The new sensor registration token is valid for 24 hours. Many sensors can be paired with the same registration token. Copy the registration token by clicking on the copy button. Second step is set registration token and brain IP address on sensor. Go to the sensor and run the command set registration token and copy the registration token from the brain. Next, set the brain IP address with command set brain and the IP address of management one IP address of brain. You can verify it with command show brain. Now we have to wait for a few minutes for correct status to show. First is refresh the web UI. Now the sensor is showing Let's go ahead and click on pair button. We have to wait for a few minutes for a status to change. Once the pop-up will confirm the forwarding status, the pairing is completed. We can verify the pairing status at two places. First, go to Brain Web UI, Data Source, Network, Sensors. The status of the sensor should be showing as forwarding. Another place we can verify is Brain Web UI, Network Status, Ingested Traffic. Scroll to the sensor. The last connection column should show the date time of the time when uh, this sensor was last connected to the brain. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day ahead.